Hey guys, what's up? Instigator92 here. And today I am bringing you a video on settings to use if you are playing on a NVIDIA GeForce 1080, which is currently listed as below the min specs for the game. And I'll show you what I've been using as a way to have a stable uh, frame rate and have the game as stable as possible while playing. Um. As I'm getting into the graphics here, I will say I do have accelerated GPU or hardware accel yeah G hardware acceleration with the GPU uh, turned on, and my resolution is down at 1920 by 1080. I have I'm on a 2K monitor, so the render scaling leaves things a bit blurry for me, bit pixelated if you will. Um, I haven't touched my field of view at all. I don't have V-Sync on, I've not touched any of these settings here, with brightness, contrast, saturation, the gamma. I set the frame rate limit to 30. Uh, for me, this keeps it as stable as possible. I really don't suffer any drops. But, you know, if I were to turn it up to 60, higher, up to unlimited, uh, so it, I can get up to like 45, 50. Uh, and occasionally, sometimes it'll drop below that. But, a uh, big reason why I do keep it at 30, other than to keep it stable, my CPU usage this way doesn't end up being too high, nor my GPU. It keeps those both relatively low, uh, so I'm not worrying about burning out my CPU or my graphics card trying to run a game that uh, doesn't run all too well on it. Uh, for my quality presets, those are all custom. I got 3D resolution at 90. Every game settings on low sharpening I have up to 150. Kind of helps with some of the pixelation for me. Uh, don't use I don't use colorblind. And then for the advanced settings with the anti-aliasing and every and upscaling method, I use TSR. That works best with the 1080 I find compared to the other settings. Everything else here is turned off or. Super, I don't even have these enabled because my graphics card doesn't have it. And these are only XESS and FSR options also. But they don't. these other ones don't benefit me any. Uh, so if you want to play Grey Zone Warfare on a lower end rig, in particular the 1080, I think these settings will probably help you out as much as they help me. And, you know, now I'm going to just walk through the base here real quick. You, the base is about the only area that really suffers a lot with uh, frame frame rate drop for me and a lot of stuttering when I've been in it. But as you saw there, it was a constant 30. Uh, so a little bit of hitching going on there. But when you run outside of the base, the game seems to become a bit more stable. And I'm not sure why that is. But you see here, I'm at 30. And it's staying at a constant smooth 30. It's not dropping down any. You know, hitching a little bit, but that's a network issue. Now I am going to really quickly just kind of show you guys. If I turn up the um, frame rate limit here. I'll let it go to 60. You can see on the right there. Oop. Yeah, that's not good, but it doesn't matter right now. So with everything I have, I'm actually at 35, 36. And that's not too bad. It's staying around there. Sprinting, you know, went up to 38. So it can go up to 40. It's probably less than that right now since I have the scaling and everything turned up. But these are the settings that I would suggest. You know, keep it at 30. And you can play a nice smooth game. I know it's not 60, 90, 120 FPS and above. Um, I am looking to eventually upgrade my computer myself. Not quite able to just yet. But in the future, I will. But I've been able to play the game this way. 
I've been enjoying the hell out of it. And if I scope in even, you know, it's still looks really nice. I'm not getting any frame rate drop scoping in like I've heard some people mention. So I'll go all the way up to the six times with the scope I have. It's looking really good here. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys like this video, you know, feel free to leave that like, subscribe. I'm going to try to get more content out. And I'll see you in the next one.